Hi everyone, it's Laurie. I've been uh, wanting to do a couple of walkthroughs for some decks that I've acquired over the last couple of months. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on a deck called the Deck of Color. It does not come with a guidebook, although I understand that the author's making a guidebook. I don't think you really need it. So this one's called Purification. It's very white. New Beginning, slightly different color white. Stay Neutral ground, create security, stabilize, warrior, toughen up, selfish time, now, passion, energy boost, motivate yourself, Confidence, establish boundaries. I really hope that the color is good enough so that you can see there are definite color differences between all of these, which may or may not be showing, you know, because of the limitations of video. Lust for Life, we're sort of we're going into kind of an orange coral color. Socialize, network, travel, explore, dance it off, laugh it off, creativity, say yes, expand your mind, optimism, release the fear. Abundance, reason, logic. Let's see. You can see that they're very different. A um, couple things that I like about these cards is that I feel like the reading on or the writing on here, the font that was chosen, is really nondescript. It doesn't jump out at you. And at first, I thought, ooh, that's a negative. And actually, after using it, I realized it isn't. It's a positive because it looks like it just handwritten. Uh, and it, it may have been, for all I know, it, it may not be a font at all. Um, but it actually, because it looks like handwriting, it's sort of easy to, to blur out and to not see and not read and just to kind of look at the color. So if you want to read these intuitively or use them for other things like that that aren't necessarily related to the keyword, it isn't so glaring that you can't ignore it simply by not looking at it. And for me, when I don't have my glasses on, I can't uh, read the words anyway. Um, I also like the fact that they seem to be a, keyed a little bit to the chakras. Uh, and I think at least one could do that if you want if you wanted to this one says joy self respect i apologize i'm in front of my largest window in the house to try to get some good lighting um and so there might be a bit of a glare that makes it a little harder to see reward harmony this is one of my favorite colors of green it's like that color spring green that kind of just first pops out on the trees and the grass and everything. Release the ego. Forgiveness. Start giving, less taking. Self-accept. Open your heart. Nature time. Heart healing. This is a very, just a very, very dark green color. It looks black, but it's actually a deep, deep sort of moss kind of green. Now we're moving into the blues. Communicate. So you can see that's very much throat chakra related. Patience. Speak your truth. And again, the, the colors are, there's quite a diff there actually is quite a difference in real life. I apologize if that's not coming through on the video. You know, I would call I would call this kind of an indigo blue and this is more of a maybe a true blue or a nautical kind of blue. 
healing, cleanse. Slow down. Peace. Oh, I love that color. My bedroom walls are very close to this, sort of between this and a duck egg. Green. Innocence. Femininity. Less logic, more intuition. Magic, inspiration. Allow emotions to flow. Spiritual growth. That's a pretty purpley plum kind of color. Empath, intuitive. This is also a very dark, rich, purpley, red, purple sort of color. Let go. Adventure. Allow love. Turn your charm on. Playful approach. Free spirit. Release anger. Calm yourself. Compassion. And nurture. There we go. Nurture self, nurture others. This, yeah, this is actually more of a peachy pink, almost like a peach blossom pink. And I, I don't think that's going to come through on the video. I, I just think it's the nature of video. There's not much to be done about it. But these are all really beautiful cards with very, very different colors. And so I'd like to tell you a little bit about how I've been using them. So there, I think, are a couple different ways. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be putting in, I'm going to try to drop in some photos here while I'm talking. So one of the easiest ways uh, to use it, look at which card kind of speaks to the mood I'm in now or the mood or energy that I want to cultivate, I want to draw in and then see what it says. So I mean, I think in a way it's, it would be kind of a very good deck for taking your own emotional temperature. You know, maybe I'm feeling, ooh, I'm feeling a bit this today. Let's, right now, what does it say? Oh, expand your mind. So that might be kind of where I am right now. And so this might be a card that I could put up somewhere and look at all day, meditate on all day, think about places where I could pull this color in in other aspects of my life, in some of the food that I eat, maybe eat more carrots. Conceivably also it could be, you know, that I want to cultivate more of a, of a this feeling, magic inspiration, so I would pull out the card of what I want to cultivate so that I could look on it, meditate on it, kind of allow that color to sink into my subconscious mind. Another way that is nice, I think, to use it is uh, as a conscious draw alongside a tarot card pull. So for instance, doing a daily draw or a set of cards and then very consciously looking through this deck to find the cards that energetically or even color wise, you know, because color is just energy for our eyeballs and then from our eyeballs to our brains uh, because not everyone even sees the same color. So I may look at a spread and then I may very consciously go through and choose a color that jumps out, that complements or puts a punctuation mark on that particular tarot spread. Another way I've used this deck is when drawing tarot cards, then draw the same cards from the color deck. Okay, so what I mean by that is let's say I've drawn three cards to do a past, present, and future spread, let's just say. And then I'm, I might look at the card that's the past card and try to find a color card that conveys what that past card is saying. The same for the present and the same for the future. So that not only am I taking the, vis the visual images from the deck, from those cards, but I'm also taking the color energy and the color feelings and potentially then the keywords from each of these um, cards that go with it. Okay, then again, while we're working with keywords, if there's something in particular that I want to work on, such as nurturing myself and nurturing others, I just want to work more on nurturing. This might be a card that I specifically pull out, not because of the color, but because of the keywords. And then I would allow that to be something that I would um, use as a guide for pulling out other cards that um, from other decks that also give me the vibe of nurturing myself and nurturing others which would allow for 
a contemplative sort of spread or crystals that would go along with this concept of nurturing myself and nurturing others. Crystals may match the color. I might use rose quartz, for example, um, or crystals that don't match the color but maybe match the concept. There's always the option of, of choosing by shuffling and then, you know, just randomly drawing them out intuitively the way you would with uh, any other kind of card, not, you know, using them face down instead of face up. There are all kinds of options there as well. Intuitively drawing a card uh, to go alongside any kind of other reading that uh, I may be doing. So there are, I don't remember how many cards there are in the deck. I'm going to write the number right here. This is the exact same size as, say, your Rider weight Smith. I'll try to pop in a picture of that as well so you can see that it's the same size. I want to say they came in a tuck box. Typically when decks come in a tuck box, I don't keep the tuck box. Typically I will move them to a bag of some sort because I, I struggle with getting decks in and out of tuck boxes. So in this case I happen to have this really lovely bag which I got from Etsy and so I just keep this deck in um, its own little bag like that. And I've probably, yeah, I think it's a tuck box, in which case I've flat packed that tuck box and if there were any artist cards or anything like that, and I believe there were. If there are, I'll try to pop a picture in here as well. And I, I have a special drawer where I just keep all of my artist cards and extra cards and, and tuck boxes that I have flat packed down. So there you go. That's the deck of color walkthrough and kind of some different ideas I have for how I use it or you might choose to use it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.